Hello everyone, thank you for joining us. I'm Nick Minzy. And I'm Aliyah Shahid. A bill in the state legislature could soon give DACA students in Arizona a tuition break at college. Last spring, the state Supreme Court ruled Dreamers weren't eligible for in-state tuition. That's why this legislation comes as welcome news for one Southern Arizona DACA student, while another says it doesn't go far enough. News 4 Tucson's Eric Fink explains. 22-year-old dreamer Orlando Tadeo says because of his status. It's an everyday thought. It's something you wake up with and something you go to sleep thinking about. He's lived in Tucson since his parents brought him from Guadalajara when he was six. He's in the aviation program at Pima Community College, paying around $6,000 of out-of-state tuition every semester. His in-state classmates pay about $2,000. I've been here the same time as anyone else in this who, who, who resides in Arizona. I've, I've been here all my life. SB 1217 introduced this session up in Phoenix would lower college tuition for dreamers and undocumented immigrants. The tuition rate would be set by the Arizona Board of Regents and the board that oversees community colleges. The Board of Regents gives a 50% reduction on out-of-state tuition to DACA students who graduated from an Arizona high school and who went to an in-state high school for a minimum of three years. Students like U of A senior hmm. Fernando Nahara. It's not as strong as DACA students need it to be. If you're contributing your fair share of taxes and you are eligible for in-state tuition rates, your legal status should not impede your access to them. While many DACA students who go here to the U of A can pay less than out-of-state students, they are not eligible for federal or state financial aid. Everything that's gotten me through my education uh, at the University of Arizona has been private scholarships from uh, private donors. Back at PCC, Orlando, who also works full time as an auto mechanic, hopes both houses and Governor Ducey sign off on this bill, one that could lower his own. A move this young man says would likely keep him in his home state after graduation. This would give me the break to be able to take a part time job, just be able to focus more in school. If I stop school, I have nothing to give to this state, to myself, and to my family. And that's what keeps me, that's what keeps me going. Eric Fink, News 4 Tucson.